Psalms chapter 40, verse 17. And it reads, But I am poor and needy. Yet the Lord, Yahweh Bashimel, shall think of upon me. Thou, thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tarrying, O my power. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep your faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. The Israelite man has been trodden down by the whole world. No one has given us shit. We always had to grind. We had to always go out there and make a way out of no way through the spirit of your house by Shemel Shai. We ain't, nobody ain't gave us no food stamps. Nobody ain't never gave us no section eight. No government assistance or nothing, man. And all hell breaking loose. And the weaker vessel, aka the woman, you, you've never really been through nothing. You see, the Israelite man been catching hell since we came over here on them cargo slave ships. And the Lord is starting to hear our prayers now because guess what? No one else has. And we don't, we don't want to hear nothing. The Israelite man, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian man, we don't want to hear nothing, man. The Lord been holding us down. Not you heathens. Not you women. Now you got a few sisters out there that's holding their man down. But come on, man. But for the most part, you women ain't shit, man. All right? And you're going to catch pure hell. And you're going to be sitting somewhere through soon come. Because America is going to crash, man. The economy is going to crash. America is about to burn, man. And all hell about to break loose. But what the scripture say again? Let's get to the scripture, man. Because I would just sit here, man, just thinking, look, we always think. What, what, what else do we got to do but think? How the Israelite man hasn't had no kind of assistance, no kind of help from nobody. Nobody in society gives us a chance, even our own damn Israelite women. So when the Lord give the Israelite man powers, what, what, what can you say? What, what can you say that would make us want to give your ass some bread? To give you something to eat, man? Y'all going to be through out here, man. Psalms 40 and 17. But I am poor and needy. The Hebrew Israelites, the men of our nation, were the poor and the needy. Sleeves even been taking care of the women for fucking, man, shit, man. Since the, since the 60s and the 70s? Having them kick the Israelite man out of the house, it's been hard over here in America. And throughout the four corners of the earth, but it's mainly been hard as hell to survive over here in America. You women don't even realize how hard it's been for the Israelite man. You're always complaining about how much hell you catch. You ain't catching no hell. You've been receiving all the benefits, all the praise, all the glory. You see? Everything, man. Section 8, with checks. You name it, when the Israelite man been just grinding. But what the scripture say? But I am poor and needy. Yet the Lord think upon me. Don't know, once again, don't nobody give a damn about the Hebrew Israelite man. So-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian man. But the Lord. When it came to that conclusion already. All right? Seeing is believing. All right? You people act like we don't see this each and every day, that people don't give a damn about us. The scripture says, who's going to bemoan you, Israel? Who, who care about how you doing? And, and, and I'm going to get that right quick. I'm going to come right back. A little spiritual rant through the spirit. I'm going to bring out some scriptures. Lord willing, don't Lord willing, the elect is edified, man. Another, another lesson for the men of our nation that don't nobody give a damn about, man. We care about you, the whole for like, we care about each other, man. My brothers lift my spirit up each and every day. Not no damn women, not no Edomite, not no Hamite, not no Chinese, not no Japanese, not no musty armpit smell of air. My brothers, through the spirit of how about Shemel Shai, look, inspired through the scriptures, give us hope, man. My brother tell me each and every day to keep fighting, bro. Keep fighting that good fight of faith. My brothers don't take nothing from me. Society does. The woman does. And after she then took everything away from me, she go to the next knucklehead. Well, well, all that is about to end. Jeremiah 15. And 5. For who shall have pity upon thee? 
old Jerusalem? What, what na name a nation of people that's been having pity on the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, mainly the men. Now they've been helping out that women for a long time. Big ass houses, the rent be like $15. But they always complain about some. Hard, hard as it's been over here for the Israelite man, barely getting ahead, barely even able to afford a roof over your head, man. Expensive as rent is, man. They'll leave you at the drop of a dime and everything could be going fine. Get you kicked out your own house and then have another knucklehead in there. The Lord's going to look out for us, man. We just got to be faithful until you howl about Shem Yahushua constantly pray. That the Lord keep his spirit on us to keep pushing his word and keep believing, man. Who shall who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? A people before us a place. Or who shall bemoan thee? Who's gonna cry for you? Who's been crying for us? No one. These people of the scriptures tell you um in lamentation. That this is the day that they look forward to. They look forward to the Israelite man being on the bottom and our women treating us like shit. Say we ain't nothing. How do you think that makes a man feel every time he wake up, he, he hears his woman say he ain't shit? When you gonna get the big car? When you gonna get the fancy house? When, when you gonna start making six figures? This place ain't our rest, man. This is a prison sentence to us, man. And for us, man, you can't compare us to the Edomite when this is his land, when this is his stolen land on top of that, when this is his kingdom, a.k.a. queendom. Like the scriptures say, the Lord didn't impart to them no kind of wisdom, though, to even think on a level like that. What, what else to say? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? Nobody but the Lord, man. Once again, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is the only our power. They the only ones that care about us. Nobody, nobody else, man. I gotta read it again. Forty seventeen. But I am poor and needy. And the Lord, look, look. Yet the Lord looketh upon me, grasshoppers, worms. And Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, look, man. The Lord sees so that we catch it. The Lord sees it's hard down here, man. It's hard down here. But the Lord keeps the spirit on us to keep going, man. Keep fighting, even though all the odds are stacked against us, man. And we still gonna come on top. We still gonna come out on top, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh, about Shemel. Shall you watch how the Lord have His men shining? The whole world is shitted on us, man. These see the nations and the women of our nation. But watch what happens when the Lord have us shining, man. The scriptures say, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Yeah, the Lord is getting ready to unleash that power, that true power to his men, man. And everybody's going to submit. Everybody's going to submit to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushua, and the men of the nation of Israel. You can bet your last dollar on that, man. Thou art my help. And my deliverer. Because no one else can deliver us. No one else can help us. Look, they, they made that evident. Then no one's gonna help us, man. Out of any predicament or, or, or situation that befalls the Hebrew Israelite, man, the Lord has helped us out, man. The Lord has put food on our table. The Lord gave us a job. The Lord put money in our bank account. You see? The Lord gave us assistance. No one else. So we don't want to hear shh. S H I T when the Lord gives us that power, man. And set us on high again, man. Cause it's coming, man. Make no tarrying. Oh my power, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. So we look, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign cry. I, I want to read this. I want to read this right quick. Let's get this a quick little lesson through the spirit. Lord willing, it's edifying, man. The days of the Hebrew Israelite man catch a hair from society and their own women. Look, we we had the end of it. It's drawing now. It's drawing nine men the end, man. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. That we, the Hebrew Israelites, the whole for led through patience and comfort of the scriptures, because we showed enough suffering. That's where the word patient goes back to. Suffering. We're suffering right about now, man. But soon come, we're gonna have them tears of joy, man. We 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 know what the future gonna be like, man. On a small scale. But we know our future is 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 promising, man. Not here in America, when the kingdom of Israel is established and our Lord and Savior is ruling, man. Alright? That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Brothers catching all kind of hell. 
from, from their job, you know what I'm saying, from society, from their women. And it shouldn't be that way, but this is part of the curses. This is part of the curses. Let's get this right quick. This is um, Psalms 34. In six, this poor man cried. Remember, I have chosen the poor. Other, I, I, I gotta I, I, hold on. I gotta get this right quick. Let's get that James. I'm gonna come right back to that song. I want to get this James right quick. The whole world shits on us, man. You, everybody, we don't want to hear it. We, we, we don't want to hear. It. I was always down with y'all. I always believed in y'all. Look, we do not want to hear that. If we're of that number, we do not want to hear nothing. Shut your damn mouth, man. James chapter 2, verse 5, hearken, meaning listen, my beloved brethren, the house of David. No one cares about us. Get that through your head, brothers. People show it to us each and every day. Have that, walk around with that mind state. That the only people that care about you, the only entities that care about you is your Howard Bashim Yavashai and your brethren, man. We all we got. Remember that, brethren. We all we got. Anything else will leave you at the drop of a dime. You, you better, re, re, you know, all these videos coming out, all this edification coming out, let, letting you know through the spirit of your high about you, and you can see it with your own eyes that we all we got. Should, shouldn't be, uh, it should be mind boggling right about now. How, how did the men going on spiritual rants? Everybody shocked them saying how the brothers are speaking nowadays. What? We living in reality right about now, man. We actually going through it. That's why brothers speaking about it. Let's get this again. James chapter 2, verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call God of Jesus Christ, chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. Everybody shits on the poor of this world, man, but not the Lord. This is this these type of scriptures right here comfort us like oh no what, man. Scriptures like this make you shed tears at night, man. When you're sitting at home all alone, catching hell from society, catching hell from your woman, if you got one, catching hell from your kids. Don't nobody respect the Israelite man, but guess what, damn it? You will. You will fear soon come. You're going to fear your Howard Bashim and you're going to fear the men of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Indian Everybody's going to fear. Everybody, man. The Lord chose the poor of this world, rich in faith, and that's what keeps us fighting. Faith, man. Believing in something that we don't see. The Lord said he's going to come back and get us. He's going to come back and get us, man. Our Lord is on his way to come back and get us out of this hell hole, man. Release the prisoners out of this prison, out of this big-ass prison, man. In heirs of the kingdom. In heirs, joint heirs of the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Because that's what it is, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Who you eagerly call Jesus, Lord willing, we of that number to become joint heirs. We just got to keep fighting, man. Yeah, it's rough. It's tough. It's hard. But look how numb the Lord is making us. The Lord is making us numb to whatever happens to anybody that we know. We ain't going to give, when it's all said and done, we going to give a damn what happens to nobody, man. Because guess what? Nobody didn't give a damn what happened to us. You remember that Israelite, man. First and foremost, I'm talking to myself because I go through it each and every day. Don't nobody give a damn what I go through. They don't care if I come out on the other side. They don't care if I make it. They don't care if I wake up with a roof over my head, some bread, some water. They don't care. So, so why should we care? Why should we care? In heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised to them that love him, man. And we show the Lord that we love him by following the laws, statutes, commandments of the Bible, keeping the law of faith, and just pushing and believing, man. And trusting in the Lord. So let's go back. Psalms 34, 6, this poor man cried. And the Lord, this poor Israelite man, cry, man. Cry to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because look, he ain't had nobody else to cry to. No one really wants to hear what we're going through anyway. So when you start telling somebody, you know what I'm saying, what you're going through, oh, why you complaining, get over it. Why you complaining? We in hell right about now, man. We in a system that was set up to make sure we don't get ahead, man. And we're set up in a system to make sure that our women are over us. They make sure that our women get the best jobs, the best everything, man, the best life. That's why they're the only ones walking around singing they living their best life. Because we damn sure ain't. But then Israelites, you got Israelite men that still want to stay here. So let's build some community ties. Let's, let's, let's find a place in America, you know what I'm saying, uh, and build us a community tie so, so we won't have to worry about nothing. Well, we in hell, man. 
and pursuing the Micah 2 and 10. This is not our rest. This place been polluted, man. But we're going to read on. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. So all the hell that we catching right about now, the Lord's going to deliver us and save us out of all of it, man. Lord willing, we are that number. Keep, look, we're prisoners of hope, right? And it's just a spiritual rent, but I'm bringing out scriptures at the same time, man. Brother's really going through it, man. Brother's giving you the real deal of what's going on, man. It ain't all peaches and cream, and the Lord never said it was going to be on this side. The Lord never said it was going to be easy, man. We say the angel of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, and camp it round about them that fear him and deliver them, man. The Lord going to have the angel deliver us, man. The, look, the Lord said, look, my servants are going to eat. My servants are going to eat. That's a comfort in Scripture. Let's get, um, let's get that Thessalonians right quick. I want to get that Thessalonians chapter 4. This is just a lesson of comfort to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Because who else is trying to comfort us, man? Ain't nobody else trying to comfort our spirit. Once again, these people don't give a damn what happens to us. Wake up knowing that. Go to sleep knowing that. Throughout the day, just know that. No one cares if you make it, man. Let's get this. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 18. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, man. With the comforter. The words of the Bible. This is what comforts us. This is what gives us hope, man. You see? In a system that was set up to keep you down, man. This is what comforts us, man. This is, look, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Let's go back. Psalms 34. And in 17, the look, the righteous cry. You see, even when we sleep, the scriptures tell us the spirit be groaning, man. Crying until you howl about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. We tired of this place, man. We tired of you people, man. We don't even like going outside sometimes to even look at you people, man. Y'all don't deserve us, man. You people don't deserve us, man. Just like y'all don't deserve you howl about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. The righteous cry. And the Lord heard it and delivered him out of all his trouble. Troubles. Constantly catching hell from society. And everything in it. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Coming from the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. And save the such as be of a contrite spirit, man. Of a contrite spirit. Oh, look, look. The word contrite, remorseful. We most definitely, we get it now, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. We feel remorseful. We feel bad for even going off, man. For doing all this, this, this the bull jive, you know what I'm saying? So, trying to keep it PG. All the nonsense that we did, we feel sorry that we did it, man. That's why Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai put his spirit on us to repent and turn back remorseful, man, for the things that we did. The Lord said he, he's near to a spirit like that. Not no prideful ass spirit, man. Feeling or expressing remorse. Or repentance affected by guilt, man. You see, we feel sorry, shame face, and, and, and that's mainly the Israelite man. This mainly, man, come on, man. These women are proud as shit. Now you do got the, the small little few sisters that feel remorseful, they feel regretful for the things that they did wrong when they was in the world, but on a whole. You women don't feel no type of way when you do some dirt to your man. And all this nonsense you've been doing for the Lord. But the Lord says, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. Look, this is this is their heaven. Sleazy Eve, you know what I'm saying? Eve, a match made in hell. This is their heaven. This is the Israelite man's hell. Which is condition played out on earth, man. Captivity. This is our captivity. But what the scripture say? The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saving such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. We catch hell. The Lord got us down here catching hell and, and more hell to come. But what the scripture say? Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, delivered him out of them all, man. And that's our faith, man. So you wait till all hell break loose. The person that ain't never been through shit gonna really feel it the most because we've been going through hell since we got over here on them cargo slave ships and it ain't lit up, man. 
And we've been, we've been making it without nobody, man. But yeah, how about Shimia was shy? What are you women going to do when this economy crash and you ain't getting no help from Sleazy E no more? You didn't, you didn't disrespect to every man that the Lord sent your way. What are you going to do? You're going to be through in that day, man. And this lesson, basically, for the men of our nation, man, the elect of the nation of Israel, man. This this suit is lesson for. It was like a spiritual rant. You see? Little, little, little spiritual rant, man. I got one more, then I'm going to wrap it up, man. This is just a spiritual rant, man. I was just thinking about it, man. Shalom Shabbat, too, man. We rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability. They, they say we the we the worst. They say Great Millstone is the worst group. You know what I'm saying known to mankind, and we'll take that, man. And we'll take that. This is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 19. In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai in the midst of the land of Egypt. Many of these different camps, man. These are the altars, man, and a pillar. At the border thereof to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies in the land of Egypt, Babylon, aka America. For they shall cry unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You remember, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign cry. You see, these women got it made. They on every social media page out there, man. They on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? They on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? They on, um, I can't even think of them all, man. They on all of them, man. Trying to get attention from other men when you got a man already, man. But these women don't feel no shame. Because no one could touch them because Sleazy E is still running the show. He gives them liberty to be whores and thoughts and tricks and gangsters and gangster bitches and all this. Man, come on, man. All that's about to be done away with. That spirit is about to burn soon come, okay? That spirit is about to burn. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, because of the oppressor. Yes, yes, yes. What it say? Oppression make of a wise man mad and a gift destroyed the heart, meaning the mind. A wise man know that he's being oppressed. So what we do? We call on Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. They're going to cry unto the Lord because of the oppressor. You got Sleazy E oppressing the hell out of us. You got the Israelite women oppressing the hell out of us. Every time I talk to a brother, they don't really go into the whole situation. But, but look, though, you already know they catch a hell from their woman at home. Now, I forgot, you no know, saying which uh, it was either one of the apostles or one of the elders mentioned that, look, we're, we're never going to get any respect from these women because they don't look at us as their savior. But 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 you wait till we get that power, that true power. Things are gonna change. You you know what I'm doing, right? At the snap of a finger, it's gonna change, man. And he shall send them a savior. The heavenly Father is gonna send us a savior, the savior of savers, Lord Yahweh Shai. He saves, he delivers, right? Who you even call Jesus? And a great one. And he shall deliver them, man. So I just want to hit some points, man. Spiritual rant. Bring out a couple of scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Backing it up through the spirit of your house. Something was on my mind. Just sitting here, just stinking. And I'm glad I live by myself, all right? I thank you how about each and every day that I live by myself. And I pray for all the brothers that got to deal with a woman that's living with a woman, man. I pray that to you, how about Shem Yahushua, that your spirit is comforted, man, through these troubling times, man. We are almost home. Shalom.